Hey you guys, what is going on? It is Teenage Night and I am back with some Madden NFL 25 Philadelphia Eagles franchise mode. I've posted one of these in a while and the main reason is because at some point in the video it would look really bad because it would speed like through most of the game. So, or not most of the game, but it would speed up from like one point to the end and then go back to a certain point. So I had to cut out that and um, uh, as a result a touchdown is taken out of the video. But I don't know how to get it back, honestly. And I've looked at the rent or the program I used to edit, and I can't find the issue, so I don't know what's going on. Hopefully, it doesn't do this again. I'm having several issues with this editing program, but anyway, we'll go ahead and get into the game now. As we are trying to go eight and zero halfway through the year undefeated, it would be a tremendous milestone. I wish the Eagles were doing this good in real life, but now it looks like David Wilson wants to continue running all over us, just like he did last time we played the Giants. So we'll see how that goes. Third and three now for the New York Giants. Eli Manning sending a man in motion. Got David Wilson in the backfield. He will give it to David Wilson, who will get the first down. So the Giants are moving the ball early, and the Eagles defense is still showing the same issues they have showed all year. So now Eli Manning dropping back, looking, firing, and finding Reuben Randall, and he gets a 37-yard gain on the play. We've got to play better defense than that. Now Eli Manning coming back under center from about the seven-yard line. Drops back looking, still looking, and firing, and touchdown to Brandon Myers. I think that's his name in the back of the end zone, wide open. That was a awful play by our defense. But now Vic dropping back and looking, firing, and nearly getting picked off. That'll make it fourth and inches for the Eagles, down 7 nothing against this Giants offense that seems to be wanting to move the ball all over the Eagles. So we will go for it on fourth down. What's Vic going to do? He's going to hand it off to this sensational second-year player, Bryce Brown, who has made a serious, you know, argument to who my starting halfback is going to be once McCoy comes back. But anyway, now Vic still moving the ball. Pretty good 14-yard gain right there to Macklin. Michael Vick coming out in shotgun from the 19-yard line. Play action to Bryce Brown. Looking deep and firing, finding Jeremy Macklin in the end zone. Touchdown. This offense has seriously been injured without the help of Deshaun Jackson. But he hasn't come back for another four or five games. So we've got a while to go without Deshaun. And now David Wilson, five rushes, 25 yards, averaging five yards a carry. So he's... Kind of running all over us at this point. It's not too bad yet. Third and three now for the New York Giants. And Eli Manning is under center. What's he going to do? He will drop back. He's looking. Eli Manning firing and finding Brandon Myers wide open. Who gets a nice gain on the play. He has five receptions for 55 yards. It's only the beginning of the second quarter. So Eli is moving the ball tremendously. And Eli Manning drops back. Fires and finds Brandon Myers in the end zone. And now the Giants are back up 14-7. to seven. So what are the Eagles going to do? They come out first and 10 from the 34-yard line. Hand off Bryce Brown. Bryce Brown up the middle. Bryce Brown to the right side. Bryce Brown. He could go all the way, but he won't. All right, so he's brought down at the 8-yard line. Six rushes, 90 yards for Bryce Brown. Tremendous day so far for him. And the Philadelphia Eagles offense is rolling. Now one-yard line, second and goal. Hand off. Chris Polk, and he'll just walk into the end zone to tie the ball game back up. So the Eagles' offense is playing good. The Giants' offense is playing good. Neither defense is playing tremendous. So that could be an issue for one of these teams by the end of the game. And now Eli Manning on third and one. dropping or No, he's going to hand off to David Wilson, and Wilson's going to get the first down. The Eagles cannot stop them on third down this game. It's kind of been an issue all year of running the ball all over the Eagles' or defense. So... They've got to figure out something. Eli Manning from shotgun, dropping back, looking, firing, finding Brandon Myers, who spins out a guy and then gets leveled by Bradley Fletcher, but he still gets the first down. Seven receptions, 81 yards now for Brandon Myers on the day. And now Eli Manning sends a man in motion. Manning will drop back. He's looking. And Eli Manning will go deep downfield. Kerry Williams doesn't get the interception. Touchdown, New York Giants. Kerry Williams went for that pick, and it kind of backfired on him. So, we will see what happens on this possession. Third and seven for the Philadelphia Eagles. Michael Vick dropping back. And he will be sacked on the play. Makes it fourth and 12 for the Philadelphia Eagles. 
they will have to punt the ball away now. So here comes Jones out on the field to punt. He punts it deep. And it looks like this Giants player is going to return it. Hendy will. David Wilson. He gets hit and he fumbles the football. James Casey recovers. And the Eagles have the ball back in Giants territory. And a chance to tie this ball game back up. So now they've got a serious issue. Or the Giants have a serious issue as Vic finds Macklin who trucks a guy on his way to the end zone. I believe it was a Giants player who would be injured on the play. So Macklin is not out, I think. I'm not positive. I don't remember this game was played like a month ago. But Manning dropping back. He's looking, firing, and he's finding... I couldn't even tell who that was. But I need to get closer to the screen. But anyway, Manning dropping back, looking, firing. And he's got David Wilson in the back of the end zone. I don't think he was in. But it, I think it was inside two minutes, so I couldn't challenge. So now we'll start the second half. And Brandon Boykin's back to return. Brandon Boykin from about the five yard, then we'll run up down the left side. And he'll get into Giants territory and then be brought down at about the 40 yard line. But Brandon Boykin would be injured. We are just having serious injury issues on this team this year. Now hand off Bryce Brown. This is one man who was yet to be injured, I think. But he has nine rushes for 125 yards. And he's my backup. I kind of want to know what LaShawn would be doing in this situation, but LaShawn was not playing this good whenever he was my starter. And now he finds Bryce Brown in the end zone. Touchdown. We tie the ball game back up. So LaShawn McCoy's job is slowly slipping away. We'll have to see how he plays once he comes back. And now Eli Manning from shotgun on third down. He will drop back and looking. He's firing and he finds Victor Cruz and he is open. Three receptions, 31 yards. So, later on in the Giants' possession, 28-28, third quarter. Manning dropping back, looking, firing. And he is finding Reuben Randall, who will just completely truck Kerry Williams on his way to the end zone. So, now the Giants have a seven-point lead once again. The Eagles have yet to have the lead in this game. The Giants, have, they'll just tie it. The Eagles will tie it up, and the Giants will take it right back. And now Vic, with no one in the backfield, looking. And he's firing deep, and he's got Bryce Brown open. Two receptions, 45 yards. Michael Vick now from shotgun on second and 14. Hand off Chris Polk. And Polk up the middle. Two rushes, 11 yards now. Third and four for Chris Polk. And for some reason, James Casey is now in a halfback. I'm not even positive about that one. And Vick dropping back, looking, firing. And he finds uh, and t something Ben. He finds Ben. I forget his first name right now. But it's a 24-yard gain. And the Eagles are now inside the 10-yard line. And Chris Polk is still in the game as Vic will fake a handoff and run into the end zone himself, hurdling a player in the process. I believe that's the only time I actually use the hurdle correctly, ever. Every other time I use it, it's, you know, I get flipped. And so you see the Eagles celebrating because they just tied this football game back up. So pretty good for the Philadelphia Eagles right now. And Tom Coughlin's pretty ticked, but we'll have to move on. Now the Giants on first and ten. Eli Manning will draw back looking, firing. He'll go deep, and he'll find Brandon Myers, who will get another huge gain. Ten receptions, 138 yards. It is getting pretty ridiculous for this Eagles team right now. And now Eli Manning dropping back looking. And Eli Manning will fire, and they cannot tip it down, so it'll be a first down for the Giants. It's not looking good right now for Philadelphia. Eli Manning from shotgun drops back looking, looking. And he's going deep, and he has Hakeem Nix open, and now they're at the two-yard line. So now the Giants have a chance to take the lead once again for their team. And on first and goal, Eli Manning will draw back, look, and fire, and find Brandon Myers in the end zone. That's his third touchdown of the day. It's one way to start the fourth quarter. And now the Eagles have the ball. Bryce Brown's finally back in the game. Hand off Bryce Brown. He spins out a guy. This is one way to start a possession with a huge gain. Oh, he breaks a tackle. Vic, Macklin, and Avant are following. And Bryce Brown is gone. Touchdown, Philadelphia, 42-42 now. So the Philadelphia Eagles have tied this ball game back up on the legs of Bryce Brown, who comes back and on his first play gets a touchdown. So not too bad. And now, yeah, man, he'll send another man in motion and hand off to David Wilson. He'll go to the outside and he'll be brought down. But did he get the first down is the question. Third and three now. And the Giants players think that he got it. And here come the refs. 
And it is a first down New York. I don't think Philadelphia has yet to stop New York on a third down. Eli Manning has 449 passing yards and six touchdowns at this point. That is ridiculous. Eli Manning dropping back looking. And Eli Manning will go deep. And that's my phone. Crap. I thought that was muted. All right. But Ruben Randall gets a nice gain. Four receptions, 107 yards. As the Giants look to take the lead once again. Eli Manning has completed 13 passes in a row. That is an insane number. And right here is the last play that you will see before I make that jump cut. And the Giants would score. So now it's 49-42. The Eagles have the ball. Hand off Bryce Brown. And he goes to the right side and gets a nice gain. 14 rushes, 223 yards for Bryce Brown on the day. So now the Eagles have to tie this ball game back up. I'm sorry I couldn't show you the touchdown. Blame the editor. But finds Damaris Johnson for a first down. Two receptions, 18 yards. Michael Vick under center. What's he going to do? Vick drops back. He's looking. And Vick goes deep, and he's got Jeremy Macklin into the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. 49-49 now. So now the Eagles are in a pretty good situation and also could potentially be a really bad situation if the defense does not come up with a stop. And that was an epic voice crack again. Didn't have one of those a video, I swear. But Macklin will get into the end zone. And now the Giants are running a hurry-up offense, 49-49, with under a minute left, or under two minutes left in the game. Manning going deep, and what's going to happen? Patrick Chung misses the interception. And Hakeem Nix will get the ball down to the three-yard line as Eli Manning breaks the NFL passing record for a single game with 561 yards. Okay, I guess I forgot to show that touchdown too. 56-49. Crap. But anyway, Vic throwing, and now it's third and six. I swear to God, I didn't mean to edit that last touchdown out. But I guess I did. Now Vic with no one in the backfield. Third and six. What's Michael Vic going to do here? Vic going deep. And he's got Riley Cooper open. Under a minute to go in the ball game. They're on the 13-yard line. The Philadelphia Eagles now running hurry up. And we'll have to see what they plan to do here. As Vic audibles again. Now Vic will take the snap. He's looking. And there's no one open that he can see. So he just fires to the end zone. No one comes down with it. 15 seconds to go. The Eagles are down by seven. Third and inches, eight seconds, three-yard line. Michael Vick dropping back, looking, firing, and it is tipped down. So the game comes down to this play. Fourth and inches from the three-yard line, six seconds to go. The Eagles' undefeated season is on the line. Vick will try to roll up, but the guys can't hold the blocks, and he is sacked. And that will be the ball game. The Philadelphia Eagles' winning streak comes to an end, 56-49. It took a quarterback to break the NFL passing record in a single game to do it. And right here, you'll see his stats. He had a tremendous day. 561 yards, 6 touchdowns, no picks, and completed 92% of his passes. That is an incredible day, obviously. I mean, he broke probably numerous records. But And then the play of the game is Bryce Brown's long touchdown run where he broke like three tackles en route to the end zone. But I will seriously have to consider who's going to be my starting halfback after this performance by Bryce Brown. I mean, LaShawn McCoy comes back in the next game, but we will see who the starter is. I'll probably start McCoy, give him a chance to, you know, redeem himself. But the odds of that happening are very slim. As you can see, the only thing we won was rushing yards and takeaways. But now we can see the beautiful, disappointed Lincoln Financial Field. Their Eagles are still 7-1, and one, so the fans shouldn't be too ticked. I mean, we're still probably going to the playoffs if I finish this series. I don't know. But <laughs> next game is against the Oakland Raiders. We're 7-1. and one. They're 1-6. One and six. We might get to blow off some steam here. And we are still winning the division. So next video, Philadelphia Eagles versus Oakland Raiders. This is Teenage Night, and I'm out.